Okay, welcome to the fourth instalment of the Functions and Relations Revision. Uh, this particular question, question 16 from the sheet, as you can see, um, which of the following functions is not a one-to-one -one function? So the first one is going to be a quadratic graph where we have the domain restricted to x greater than 3. The second one uh, y is equal to square root of 3 minus x squared. C y is equal to 3x squared and d y equals 3 root x and e y is equal to 3x. So we're looking for which one is not a one-to-one -one function so having an idea of what the shape of the graph would look like um, will help us with that. So if we look at the first option, A, I'm going to factorise this. 3x squared take 3x, so 3x is common to both. And we take out the common factor, we'll be left with x minus 1. So that will tell us that we'll have x-intercepts. For the 3x component, they will be at 0. And for the x minus 1 component, there will be an x-intercept at 1. So for the shape of the graph would look a little bit like um, it's a positive quadratic, positive x squared. So the shape of the graph would look something a bit like this, where we have an x-intercept at 1 and another one at 0. And we have a restricted domain from 3 upwards greater than 3. So it's going to be this section of the graph here, which that graph is just going to continue up and up and up. So we have a very clear image there that this will be a 1 to 1. Every x value will only have one y value, and every y value would only have one x value. So a is a 1 to 1 function, which is OK. If the domain had have been restricted to something like x greater than 0, then you would have this section in here, which is not a one-to-one -one component of it. Now, if we have a look at B, um, what sort of shape of a graph is that going to be? Well, what I'm going to do is, again, rearrange this one. Um, y equals the square root of 3 take away x squared. If I square both sides, we have y squared equals 3 take away x squared. Then if I add x squared to both sides, we have x squared plus y squared is equal to 3. So it's a circle graph with a radius of 3. Or in the original function, it's the positive half of a circle graph. So it's going to be based around the origin with a radius of a square root of 3, so that would be positive root 3, negative root 3. Try and draw those a little bit better. Now in this case here, every x value only has one y value, but we can clearly see that y values have more than one corresponding x value for this particular graph. So b is not a one-to-one -one function. Now, there may be more than one option here, so we better go through the rest of them. c, the graph for this one is a positive quadratic, 3x squared, so it'll look something like this. As it is there, it is not a one-to-one, -one, but we have a restricted domain of x greater than zero, so we can ignore the left part of it there, and we're only looking at that part there, which is a one-to-one -one function, so that one's okay. For d, the graph of that is going to look a bit like this. Um, it has a implied restriction of the domain 
in that we can't have any negative x values. So the component we have there is definitely one to one, so that one's okay. And for graph E, quick idea of the shape of the graph, it's a linear graph, 3x squared, so it's got a gradient of 3. Goes through like that, so that one's definitely a one to one. Every x value has only one y value, and every y value has only one corresponding x value. So the answer that we have to this particular question is B. As which one is not a one to one function? Let's move on to the next question. Now, looking at this one here, the function with rule f of x is equal to square root of 2x minus k has an implied or maximal domain of which one of those? Now, the graph of this firstly if we do a graph of y equals root 2x that would look something a bit like that now when we have the 2x minus k it's going to translate it to the right so to work out where it's going to start, we need to take what's inside the square root, so 2x minus k, and set that equal to 0, rearrange to find what x is equal to, so 2x will equal k, and x will equal k over 2. So the graph of this one would look like so, with our x-intercept being k over 2. So the domain would be starting at k over 2 and going anything bigger than that. So our correct option for this one would be d. Now let's move on to the next question. What is the maximal domain of f of x is equal to the square root of 25 minus x squared. What I might do is just to help you become familiar with types of graphs that are here, and you might have already recognised this, I'll write it as y is equal to 25 minus x squared. Square both sides, y squared is equal to 25 minus x squared. Add x squared to both sides, we end up with x squared plus y squared equals 25. So that's a circle graph which is based around the origin with a radius of 5. 5, neg 5, etc, etc. Only dealing with the domain so we don't need to worry about the x values here. Now going back to the original question this is the positive square root so that's only dealing with the top half of this circle so the domain that we're worried about is going to be this section here going from negative 5 through to 5. Now can x equal negative 5 over here? Yes, it does equal negative 5. Y coordinate of that would be 0. And similarly when x is equal to 5, yes it can equal it. So that is going to be our implied domain. That's the answer to that question, and that is the end of the multiple choice component of the revision, and the end of this particular screencast. Thanks.